Hi, welcome. My name is Kenton, and this is a quick shot video on the SD Mobile Android interface on how to order a part. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the job record, which we are ordering a part for. And then if you are familiar with the mobile products, you'll notice that there are some differences here um, in the layout and also in the labeling of some of the tabs. We're going to click on the work tab, which used to be the um, post visit report or PVR tab in our other versions of mobile. We are ordering a part, so I'm going to click on this line here where the little shopping cart icon is to order a part. Um, so again, just focusing on ordering a part here, we're going to click on the orange shopping cart um, here to bring up the order part screen. Now you'll notice that we do have a um, search for part button. This um, is using the um, smart parts and I believe the um, My Parts Help Diagnostic um, information so that you can go in and, and find the part that you're looking for um, that matches that information. Um, so you can see here we have a pretty good list of parts. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these. Let's say that uh, uh, we're going to go with this um, adapter here um, and I'm going to select that. Now um, I need to tell it how am I ordering the part or what is the order process being used? Am I ordering it as a technician or is the office ordering it for me? So we're going to go ahead and start with I ordering it as a technician. So I'm going to click the I order and you can see that it already pulled in the information for us uh, regarding the part that we had done the search for. So now I just need to finish filling out the rest of the information. So we're going to go ahead and put in the quantity I need. I need one of these adapters. Um, I put in the vendor that I'm ordering it from. So we're going to say I'm ordering it from uh, reliable. Uh, the number of days until it arrives based on what they told me. Um, let's say we got two days here. The purchase order number. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create my own purchase order number using the date and time. So I'm going to go with 10410925 And then um, I have actually placed this order, so I'm going to choose that option. If it was a situation um, such as maybe I had uh, ran to the local par uh, hardware store that was just down the street or whatever and bought the clamps I needed or something like that. Uh, I could document those and put them in as purchased and picked up. Um, and then that would process that order slightly different on the service desk side. Um, at this point in time, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Now we'll notice down here we've added a new section called part list and it inputted that information for us. So let's go ahead and um, make a request to have the office order a part. So again, clicking on the order part button. Um, I'm not going to do the search this time. I want to be able to manually type in the information so you can kind of see how that is done as well. I'm going to go ahead and do the office orders. Again, I'm putting in the quantity of items that I need. So let's say that I need um, two of these hinges that I'm going to order. So I put in the part number um, and it is three, four, one. 8A0451 34, and the description on that is going to be a lower right hinge. Uh, um, and then our cost. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna fill any of this. I'm gonna let the office fill in the rest because I don't know the cost because I don't know who they're ordering it from. If I had the specific information I wanted to put in there, uh, maybe I quoted a retail price or something like that, um, I can fill any of that in. Um, if I need the office to do um, a, a P&A um, or a price and availability check on it, um, I can simply check the box and then it will flag that correctly for them so that they know that they need to do that and not just order the parts. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then again, we'll come down here and we'll notice that we have our second entry here. So um, I just want to thank you for your time watching and listening as we did our first quick shot on the new ST Mobile application on how to order a part.